Chief twit Elon Musk is admitting that Donald Trump is planning to bring you economic pain if he wins the White House. During the telephone town hall hosted on his failing social media website, uh, yes, failing because it went from a net worth of $44 billion to $9.5 billion uh, and has lost a whole bunch of advertisers, the billionaire Trump backer said that he and Trump plan to inflict, quote, temporary hardship on American citizens. Quote, we have to reduce spending to live within our means. That necessarily involves some temporary hardship, but it will ensure long-term prosperity. And for whom, right? President Trump is supportive that everyone is talking about a haircut here because America's got to live within its means and we can't be a wastrel. Why is it that every time... We're to, oh, you know, this country, we got to live within our means. It always involves screwing poor people, okay? Ne never involves rich people paying their fair share of taxes, right? Uh, no, 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 of course not. Uh, look, poor people are going to be affected the most, not rich people. Rich people are going to receive massive tax cuts, okay? He already said, we're, we're gonna, you're rich as hell. We're going to give you massive tax cuts. There's going to be a robbery here. There's going to be a transfer of wealth from everywhere else to the top, unlike one what we have never seen before, okay? That's just what's going to happen. He's going to rob everybody, okay, and give it to himself and his rich friends, like Elon Musk. Why do you think Elon Musk is giving Donald Trump money, putting $75 million into a pack? Partly it's, yes, you know, due to uh, tax cuts. The other part is, He's going to savage the government, government agencies that might actually, you know, look into things that Elon's companies have been doing wrong. Yeah. So now on Tuesday, Musk offered a similar sentiment. Uh, on X, the user wrote that Trump's plan for mass deportations combined with Elon hacking away at the government, which means, of course, things like food stamps, you know, school lunches, education, all that stuff. Uh, that actually helps average working class people. Um, firing people and reducing the deficit, firing people from the government, people who work for the government, okay, are no, not going to have jobs anymore. They're going to be unemployed now. Could cause a severe overreaction in the economy with markets tumbling. Followed by a rapid recovery to a healthier, sustainable economy. Musk replied, sounds about right. Yeah, admitting that Yes, there's going to be a severe overreaction and markets will tumble. Yeah. Uh, now, here's what would happen, okay? All that other stuff, except for the rapid recovery to a healthier, sustainable economy. That's not going to happen. Tax cuts are going to, uh, for the rich, are going to explode the deficit further, okay? And they're going to have to cut somewhere else. Massive cuts in the already destroyed social safety net which is where they're inevitably going to try to take that money from, it's going to throw millions more into poverty, okay? And what's left of the middle class, guess what? When taxes go down in the rich, they go up on everyone else, okay? So the middle class is going to get taxed into poverty while the wealthy slurp up all the gains. That's it. That's what's going to happen. All of that is while the country's infrastructure falls apart, literally, in a very literal sense. OK, I mean, it's going to be an absolute disaster. Look, economists in both parties say that the deportation force, right, which would remove millions of people from this country. It's not only going to be super expensive. Right. But guess what? These people who work who are undocumented, they pay into Social Security. They pay into Medicare. They're never going to see a dime from that money, but they pay into it. They pay into local taxes. OK. And so. Doing that and, you know, putting in tariffs, which are a tax cut paid for, or I'm sorry, which is a tax paid for by regular people, okay? Uh, it's going to cut into people's budgets by like 4000 three dollars to $4,000 a year. It's going to cost you more for those goods. We'll need to price spikes and we'll make inflation take right off. Okay, inflation has actually slowed by quite a bit. Uh, things are still more expensive because of greedflation, okay? 
but you do all this stuff, inflation's going to take right back off like a like one of Elon's rockets. Okay, and that's it. Now, thankfully, there's a good chance that a lot of their cuts won't make it through Congress. Okay, depending on how the ele- uh, election goes. I mean, you get, you know, a trifecta and you get a massive Republican majority. Well, then it's all over, <laughs> right? You're going to see some massively regressive policies being put into place. But unless that happens, which would be like a massive red wave, you're still going to have Democrats in Congress who will be opposed to those cuts, okay? So that said, here they are. They're out here telling you, hey, guys, elect us, and we're going to make your life harder. Oh, great. We're going to literally put a billionaire in charge of cutting government. And what do you think is going to go first? Anything, any policy that goes to help struggling people. Okay. And then, of course, regulations on businesses, consumer protection agencies, all of that. I mean... Bing, 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 boom, she, it's gone. But what about Social Security and Medicare? Now, Donald Trump says, well, I'm not going to cut those. He says, I will never do anything that will jeopardize or hurt Social Security or Medicare. That's uh, him talking to Breitbart in March. We'll have to do it elsewhere, but we're not going to do anything to hurt them. Mm, Well, here's the thing. Um, Getting rid of taxes on tips as well as getting rid of Social Security taxes, guess what? Uh, That is uh, actually going to end up, oh, and along with kicking people out of the country, it's going to lead to the Social Security Trust Fund running out sooner than expected, okay? Which means a reduction in benefits for people that are on Social Security. So that's very important, all right? Uh, And not only that, but while he was president, Trump repeatedly proposed cuts to Social Security's disability insurance program. So, yeah, um, basically, unless you are already wealthy, like Donald Trump and Elon Musk, they're telling you, you elect us, we're going to hurt you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.